Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy, King07 here, back with another video. Before we get into this video, I just want to remind you all to all kings and queens, and I hope you all are having a very, very blessed day. And we're back with another NBA 2K22 current gen build. You guys know, I don't drop builds often, but when I do, they're top notch, top quality. I was just a joke, you know, I'm, I'm dropping builds basically every single day. So if you are new, drop a like. And if you do want to see builds and test out builds, this is definitely the channel to check out. So make sure you drop a sub if you're feeling extra, extra uh, generous today. But we're going to be showing you guys a point guard build. And before we go into the attributes, if you are a fan of Ja Morant, I promise you this is the closest thing you're going to get to Ja Morant and NBA 2K22 current gen. Because this build, it's a demon, bro. This build... Trust me. So the pie chart. So what does Ja do? Ja, insane handles. And Ja can legitimately jump over people that are 6'10". Which, I mean, we haven't seen that type of hop, that type of bounce. Maybe since Vince Carter. He did that in the Olympics all those years ago. But you're going to want to go with what numbers from the top. 1, 2, 3, 4. You're going to want to go with the primary playmaking, primary finishing pie chart. Now, yet again... I'll, t I'll, I'll address the shooting, but here you could go max speed, but that's not worth it. You want to get the fourth pie chart with the speed, acceleration, and vertical as well. Because you should end up with about, uh, well, I'll go into all that. But let's start with the attributes for now. Close shot, you're going to want to max this out. Driving layup, max this thing out. I don't know what 95 driving layup gives you, but it, it, this is just what you need to have the most finishing badges, like the most and the best efficient ways of spending your attribute points. Then for driving dunk, max that thing out. See, if I bring any of these attributes down one, you lose one of the badges off the 19 total finishing badges, right? So we're going to go over to shooting. Shooting, max out the midi, 75 midi, max out the three. Now hold up, hold up, hold up. Those who are concerned, who haven't played current gen or next gen yet, you haven't bought the, you haven't made your mind player yet because you're scared to make a player then not like him and then you don't want to respect him, spend more VC. I assure those people that haven't made their builds yet and haven't played 2K yet, that 67 three bolt is straight money, bro. Straight money in the bag, bro. I swear I saw Badge Fog upload uh, a current gem video with a 53 three ball greening everything, bro, on a pure lock. And I, on my main build, I have a 62 three ball and it's straight green. So this is more than enough. Do not be scared of making this build because you see that three ball, right? So you're going to max up the free throw. If it is strictly a park build, I, I would still max out the free throw because you do need it just to get the shooting badges because the shooting badges are going to help for sure. And then you're going to want to put this up till you get 11. So it's going to be 63 post fade. So you got 19 finishing, 11 shooting. Then when it comes to playmaking, uh, the second Hall of Fame category you get on this build, you're going to want to max out pass accuracy, max out ball handle. And for post control, you want to put it up just one. Just to get the 23 playmaking. So how many badges is this real quick? Yes, 30. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Is this the most badges you... Wait a second. I think this is the most badges you could get in current gym. Because that right there, that's 53 play, 53 badges. And we have we still have 138 attribute upgrades remaining. I've made four builds on this channel. And not, I think the most I've had on a build was like 54, 53 badges. So this is about to beat that record kind of by a lot. You're going to upgrade steel. Upgrade lateral quickness, upgrade perimeter defense, and then with your remaining 38, you're going to want to put on defensive rebounds. So you end up with six defensive rebounding badges. And these final two, I've tested it. You put on any of these attributes, it doesn't it doesn't put anything up plus one. None of them go up. So with these remaining two, you could just put on whatever you want. I guess if I were you, I just put that thing on interior defense or block. Uh, I'm going to just put on interior defense. So you end up with a total of what? of 59 badges if my math is correct and i'm pretty sure my math is indeed correct here 59 badges it's unreal so in body shape uh you i uh, just go built and then here you could go six five right because you don't i don't know it's it's tricky it's tricky because if you go six five you only lose oh actually you want to get every single dribble animation so i would go six four but is that really worth like you get plus one close shot plus three standing dunk which doesn't matter at all you lose two ball handling 
and you have plus one on interior block, offensive rebounding, minus one on seal. Yeah, it's just not worth it. So you're gonna want to put uh, your player to six two, six three. You could, I mean, six three. You you could go six two. You, the only thing you lose is one driving dunk, but that actually is very important because you want to get 86 driving dunk. Um, so to get the elite small contact dunks. Um, and if you go 6-2, you're going to lose out on that because you're only going to get 85 driving dunk at 99 overall. So we're going to go six foot three. So let me recap. You're going to get elite small contact dunks. You can green. You're going to get every ball handle animation in the in the game. And then look at those those defensive attributes. They're really not bad at all. Um, then you can put your weight up to... like You could put it all the way down, right? And you could end up with 99 speed, 98 acceleration. But are you okay with only having 44 strength? Like, if you're okay with that and you just want to be fast as fuck, go right ahead. And you can have 99 speed, 9, uh, or yeah, 99 speed, 99 acceleration. And was it 87 or 97 vertical, which is pff, unreal. But in terms of wingspan, I would really, I think I will maybe max it out, to be honest. If you max it out, you max it out, you lose two on three. So you're going to end up with a 69-3, 76 a midi. And you just have a long wingspan. You get minus two in your ball handle. That's fine. You get plus three steel. Like your defensive attributes, plus three steel, plus one lateral quickness, plus two perimeter D. And just like having a long wingspan, I think it's going to help a lot. It's, I think it's going to make up a lot for your lack of strength. Um, overall, I think I really do think it's worth going maximum wingspan. And for the play, uh, for the takeover, you want to go slasher. Then let's see what kind of build we have made. We've made a two-way slashing playmaker. Shades of Dejounte Murray, John Morant, and Damian Lillard. <coughs> Excuse me. So I guess a two-way slashing play is back in 2K, but usually the two-way slashing play is primary playmaking and primary defense. So this is a two-way build that it doesn't even have Hall of Fame defensive badges. That's when you know this build is just completely overpowered. So let's go ahead and test this build out. Let's go show you guys what badges you should be putting on this build for sure. In terms of finishing, Hall of Fame Posterizer. Hall of Fame Limitless. You're going to want to put, you can put Gold Slithery. You can put mm, Gold Giant Slayer. Bronze Unstrippable. Uh, bronze Acrobat, Bronze Fearless. Uh, what else can you put? That's about it, to be honest. You could put Slither Hall of Fame, I would put actually, and then Giant Slayer Hall of Fame. Or you could do this and then have this gold also. It's up to you, honestly. I would probably go Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame, and then Bronze for this, depending on how often you're getting stripped when attacking the basket. You could change your badge layout. But look at these. You're going to dunk on absolutely everybody with Hall of Fame Limitless, Hall of Fame uh, Posterizer, Hall of Fame Giant, and Hall of Fame Slithery Finisher. In terms of shooting, you got 11 badges. More than enough. Gold Sniper, uh, Gold Catch and Shoot, Gold Limitless, and then you can, do, you can do Silver Hot Zone, or you can do Bronze Corner, Bronze Hot Zone. And if you're not a Catch and Shoot type player, you can take that off completely, go Corner, or if you're not Catch and Shoot, you're not going to be shooting in the corners. So you can go Hot Zone Gold. And then you could put Chef Silver or Blinder Silver, Dead Eye Silver. It's really up to you. There's a lot of options here. If I were you, I would go, before you get Hot Zones, I would go like this and then like that. That's perfect to me. Then we move on to the playmaking side of things. Uh, here you could decide to be a team player or not, but you definitely, there's two badges. No matter what, if you're a team player or not, you need to have them on. That's Hall of Fame Quick First Step, Hall of Fame Handles for Days. Which I'm sure if you're watching this video, you know that already. Uh, then I would put Goo Hand Silver, Quick Chain Gold, Bailout Bronze, Unpluckable Bronze, uh, Space Creator Silver, Ankle Breaker Silver. Um, you could put Stop and Go Silver. You could put Bronze uh, Di or uh, you could put Bronze Dimer. But people hit every shot in this game, so you could put Bronze Bullet Passer and then Bronze Needle Threader if you really want. Just so you have like a, you have a lot of badges on this build, so like a lot of spread out badges. I think this is that's a really good badge layout. In terms of defense, it's really simple. You're gonna want gold clamps, bronze intimidator, bronze menace, and bronze pickpocket. Or you could do this: uh, silver clamps, have all these as well, and then put on uh, bronze interceptor. Just so you have as many badges as possible on the defensive side of things. 
and in terms in terms of shooting what i would do jump shot 98 pure jump shot 98 that's the best jump shot for sure and guys if you do enjoy this build and you do make it as always comment down below if you use it and what you think about it and comment down below if you think there's any possible way that you can make this build better but guys if you did overall enjoy the build make sure to drop a like comment and subscribe it's been your boy kingster7 i'm out peace